We'll cook up the way you walk cold We'll be getting you warm Tofu We'll get the right temperature to fry you in good form Bake good Bake good Come I got the right tactics to cook you mom Step by Wanna pass the pepper Yes, the heat is on Oh, oh, we'll cook up the way you all want We'll be keeping you on Supper We'll get the right temperature to poach you I love salmon Dim sum My time I got the right tactics to cook you mom Get this party really cooking with the Rat Team. When it comes to stovetop cooking, temperature control is one of the most important yet underaddressed aspects to getting a meal right. For many foods like delicate meats or finicky sauces, professional chefs carefully monitor the temperatures of their pans. But thermometers can be clumsy to work with and stovetops only have general settings like medium heat. Most of the time, we have no idea how hot the stove is. That's why we're excited to present Tempra, a smart kitchen device that monitors the temperatures on your stovetop. Tempra uses infrared sensing to send real-time information and guidance to an app on your smartphone or tablet. Tempra gives you precision and consistency, bringing science to the art of cooking. Meet Stephanie. She's a young professional, and her father flew into town tonight for dinner. She wants to make a home-cooked meal of his favorite dish, steak and eggs. It's a good thing she has tempera to help her get the meal just right. Stephanie will mount, mount tempera on its magnetic base that has been installed on her range hood. And just like that, tempera is ready to help. When she wants to use her stovetop, Stephanie opens the app in her phone. Let's tune in to the live projection. Here we see that she's already began heating up a pot of water to poach eggs in. Now, poaching eggs is tricky. If the water's too hot, the egg whites get tough. But if it's too cool, the eggs fall apart and won't cook properly. The ideal range is between 180 to 190 degrees Fahrenheit for about four minutes. So Stephanie will use Tempra to make sure she always keeps the water within this range. Without even touching her pan, Tempra will provide a temperature readout with a resolution of five degrees Fahrenheit. And she can use the app to keep track of time. Now let's see how Stephanie sets up another burner for searing steak. She first selects the base that she'll be cooking with, canola oil. This allows the software to account for the correct material properties of canola oil and provide a most accurate temperature readout. She then specifies the food, steak. If she wanted to cook something else, Stephanie could use the plus icon to add other food options. And based on this choice, Temper will provide the ideal range for searing steak without overheating the oil. Now, as the heating pan lights up on the app, it begins to display a live temperature reading. Tempera can distinguish between pan and food using a temperature classification algorithm. So the temperature that Stephanie sees in the app always reflects the temperature she's cooking at on the pan. That temperature bar to the right of the timer lets Stephanie know how close she is to the suggested range, which is denoted by the shaded checkmark region. The X shows a dangerous threshold, and the temperature is above the selected oil's smoke point. And past the smoke point, fat begins to break down, releasing potentially harmful fumes and approaching high temperatures, which can pose a fire threat. But luckily, Tempra will warn us before any of this happens. So while Stephanie continues to prepare her meal, Laura will tell us more about how Tempra works. The enclosure contains a number of key components. The infrared sen sensor is the eye of Tempra, it sees different temperatures as we see different colors. Temper translates complex heat maps into simple, useful information in the app. In just a moment, when Stephanie's pans reach 335 degrees, the best temperatures for her steaks, she'll begin cooking them. Temper is readily mounted onto a range hood or microwave above a stovetop. Thorough testing has verified that Temper is compatible with a wide range of stove types, including gas, electric, and induction. During the easy one-time setup, users firmly secure the mounting plate using the provided magnets or fasteners. Next, the user rotates the camera by scrolling a wheel on the back face of Tempera, attaches it to the mounting plate, and confirms via the app that all of the burners are within the camera's field of view. The rotation wheel is on the back face of Tempera, so the user will not accidentally bump it. Finally, the app guides the user through a simple calibration procedure in which Tempra learns the location of each burner. A polypropylene case protects Tempra from the greasy and steamy kitchen environment. 
The camera sees your stove top through an infrared transparent window. The window is not affected by a small amount of grease or steam, so wiping it clean occasionally is all you need. A microprocessor runs the image processing algorithm and communicates this information to the app through the cloud using a Wi-Fi connection. A quick press of a button can turn temper on and off, and in the event that your stove is cold but temper is left on, temper can turn itself off. Temper's rechargeable batteries last five months with standard use. And when it's time to charge Tempra, your app will send you a reminder. Tempra can easily be charged using the included micro USB cable. A built-in speaker notifies users of timers and alerts like this. Tempra can also check to see if you're still cooking, just to make sure you haven't forgotten to turn off your stove. Wherever you are in your room, in your house, Tempra can reach you through your app. Next, let's hear from Daily to learn about Tempra's entrance to the market. Tempra's technology has broad applications. Our design is for the home kitchen. Right now, if you want to know the temperature of your stovetop, your options are a smart pan that reports its own temperature or a handheld thermometer. But Tempra adds more value than any of these existing products. It tells you the temperature of the entire stovetop while also providing cooking guidance and, of course, safety. And Tempra gives you all of this value for a purchase price of $160. At scale, Tempra can be produced for $47 per device, including assembly. We plan to distribute Tempra through online retailers, which adds a $25 markup. This leads us with an $88 margin, and we can use this margin to cover our regular operations, as well as invest in more research and development for different applications of Tempra. And we even have a profit to pay back our investors and keep them happy. We're leveraging the rapid growth of the $4 billion smart home appliance market. Our next steps are to introduce Tempra to retailers and explore different marketing partnerships. Next, we'll ramp up production and sell our first units in nine months. As we continue to grow, we'll be profitable in our third year. And in our fourth year, we'll reach Tempra's full production capacity. So that's the long term for Tempra. Right now, you might be a little more curious about the steak and eggs that are on the stove behind me. So let's check in, check in in the kitchen with Stephanie. Looks like she's just finishing plating her dishes and maybe adding a little garnish. So let's see what the results are. <laughs> Salt and pepper. <laughs> Tempra is changing the way that people interact with their stoves. It helps Stephanie craft her perfect meal. Likewise, Tempra will build precision and inspire confidence in your kitchens. Thank you. Thank you, Red Team. We have a question up here. So I noticed your mock-ups only allow for four ranges on a stove. Uh, could Tempra work for maybe 10, uh, an amount you might see in an industrial cooking area? Good question. So currently, Tempra is programmed to work with four burners. The software itself is very scalable, uh, but we implement it only for four burners in the way it interacts with the app. But certainly moving forward, before we fully bring it to market, we want to be able to add extra burners as well. Thank you. Question over here. Yeah, so you guys mentioned that in terms of competition for home cooks, there are handheld thermometers and smart pans. But I was wondering how the cost of tempera compares to a home sous vide machine for a cook who's that interested in kind of cooking well to temperature. Sure, yeah, so the cost of tempera is driven by our IR sensor, um, but we priced our cost as low as we could in order to offer users um, a competitive price within the market. Most prices, for example, uh, most products are actually priced at $199 and would only cover the cost of one pan, and tempera can monitor your entire stovetop. Thank you. Question in the back here? Yes. Um different kinds of heating elements on stoves and different kinds of um, different kinds of pans have different 
kinds of uniformity of heat um, that vary significantly, where some pans will be very ununiform in heat and other pans will be uniform. Are you, do you have some, I noticed it, it seems that what you're doing is averaging the heat among them. Wouldn't it be a good idea to have some kind of element in tempera that would be a warning or at least an indication of the degree of uniformity of heat in the pan? So uh, to address your point about averaging, um, the way tempera uh, figures out what temperature to report back to the app is uh, actually not averaging. We actually count how many uh, different temperatures are, and then we see kind of which ones appear pretty frequently, and we return whichever one's highest. So uh, what you'd be seeing in the app would be uh, kind of the point in the, the, the region in the pan that tends to have the highest temperature. Uh, we haven't looked into implementing uh, some kind of warning towards uh, different uniformities of heat, but that is definitely something we uh, would be willing to look into. Thanks for that idea. Um, I have a related question, which is, how does Tempera measure the temperature of low emissivity shiny metal pots and pans? So uh, the way uh, in the app, the user actually has to state with, uh, with what base they are cooking with. So um, uh, the way we actually report the temperature back is based on the emissivity of the base that they selected. So we're not actually reporting the temperature of the pan itself, we're reporting the temperature of the oil or water or butter that you put on top of the pan. And just to add a little bit more to that point, we did have this concern with stainless steel pans and found that once you add a base like water or different kinds of oil or butter, the temperature being reported is quite accurate. Great, question here. So what if your pan is entirely covered with a thick layer of food? Is it measuring the top of the food? Is it measuring what's underneath? Like if I've got a really big, thick steak in my pan, <laughs> not a tiny steak, but a big, thick steak, how accurate is it gonna be on one side of the steak versus the other side of the steak? This is important. <laughs> I'm glad you're quite passionate about your steak temperature. So if your steak were to cover the entire surface of the pan, um, because an infrared sensor senses the surface, we would then be providing you with the surface temperature of that steak. However, as Fidel said before, if there is a region of the pan that is showing and that region is warmer than the steak that is uh, currently in your pan, then we'll provide you that temperature as well. So you'll get the warmest of the two. Thank you, and one last question. Have you considered commercial applications for the, this device? For example, monitoring of foodstuffs that are cooked to health code by line cooks? Yeah, so uh, Tempra's technology can be applicable to a wide variety of applications. Our current hardware is designed for a home user. However, in the future, we would love to investigate commercial markets. Thank you, that's all we have time for. Let's thank Red Team. Yeah.